Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Power Toys Run utility, uh, which is a quick way to get to the Run box instead of having to open it up and then or do a search for items and that kind of thing. Actually, gives you some additional options. So it's part of the Power Toys suite of tools here. So once you download and install this, uh, which I'll put a link in the description, you can just go to the Power Toys Run. It should be running by default. And you can click on and go to the settings, and you can see it is running. And then you can see that Alt Space is the shortcut to bring up the Run box. And then there's some other options here if you want to go through and kind of tweak the way it works. But we're just going to go over the basic functionality right now. So now that I have it running, all I got to do is press Alt Space. And I could type in my command. Let's say I want to open a command prompt, CMD. Now you can see it gives you options to open the command itself, command prompt box itself. Uh, you could open it in a browser, which is not going to do much in this case. Uh, you could search the web for it if you want to do that. Then you have some other options here. Run as administrator, run as a different user, open containing folder for the executable, and open the path in the console. So let's say we want to run as administrator. Just click on that. Gives us the administrator box there, or dialog box. So now we have an administrative command prompt. And if we go back, it'll remember the last thing you typed. You just have to clear it out. Let's say we want to go to the registry editor. See, it starts to find it just like the search does. And then once again, you have your same options. So it's like another way to uh, run applications. So if you're always using the run box to open uh, tools and that kind of thing, it's a nice little feature because you just have to press Alt Space, which is really easy to do on the keyboard. Type it in, you only have all your options here to kind of tweak the way it's running. All right, so like I said, I'll put a link in the description for the software. You could download and install it and then try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.